hey hey welcome to earth rose tarot how are you doing thank you so much for being here so just for a change of pace these videos um i've changed up the camera angle so you can see me um i hope you're going to enjoy these videos uh, this is just my attempt to try and get around the new youtube algorithms where basically most cards are making my videos be seen by about 10 people so with that um, all said and done thank you so much for all your support to the channel all your patience and uh, all your lovely comments and support so far I really appreciate it and this is going to be a general love reading for my wonderful Capricorns so this is for Capricorn in Sun Moon Rising or Venus now I'm not going to be able to show you the spread as I normally do um, because of how I'm changing things up but I will show you any cards that are particularly significant that I can show you that don't have any um, YouTube red flags <laughs> so uh, this is for Capricorn and Sun Moon Rising or Venus it's a general love reading um, it's not going to resonate with every Capricorn out there but I do hope that you enjoy it you find it useful or at least uh, I would say take what does resonate and leave what doesn't for somebody else and please bear with me, this is my first time ever um, videoing myself doing anything, so uh, if I'm like staring down at the table for most of it, then um, I apologise, I'm going to have to get used to this. So, this is a timeless reading, it's for whenever you come across it guys. Okay, I'm going to start by getting a couple of messages to see what wants to come out for you, and then I'm going to go into a spread, and I will clarify uh, on top of the first layer. To, with any, if we need to get some more information on anything. So, my lovely Capricorns in love, please. What do we have for my Cappies in love today, please? Okay, oof. Um, Eight of Cups came out in reverse immediately. The Ten of Cups almost flipped over as well. So, Eight of Cups in reverse, Cappy, there's only one message, <laughs> really, I can tell you. Someone who um, maybe took some time out from you recently or has seemed to like disappear from your life from for a while is um it's going to be making a reappearance and i think it's going to be something um that seems like good news i think you thought this was over and dead and done when it came to this person now we are doing a love reading but this doesn't necessarily have to be someone um you know like a really awful ex or anything it's just someone that you thought oh you know they seem to have moved on in a different direction from me and it looks like they are coming back your way and it might actually make you quite happy um so let's get some more for capricorn please i'm just going to get a couple of, from the starting messages before we go into the spread so let me get a couple more please for capricorn what do we need to know knight of swords okay of swords someone may have changed their mind about something or they may have feel like they've said something in haste um, and they are now kind of seeing the other side of things or it might be you looking at something from a different perspective as well Kathy get what else for Capricorn please okay ooh. so the Queen of Wands has come out hidden behind the moon so there could have been um, something that they need to, someone needs to tell you they want they're coming back in to tell you about um, something that was going on with someone else that um, wasn't completely clear they weren't being completely open and honest with you about before um, I get a sense that someone kind of wants to defend themselves um, they're coming in um, they're coming back into your life and they've really got a, something to say they've really got a point to make and maybe they want to kind of clear up clear up their name let's see Can get one more please Nine of Wands. So, uh, yeah, I, I feel like you're going to have um, your guard up when this person actually returns back into your life. Um, they've got something specific they want to tell you. They might want... The, it may be that you feel like they disappeared out of your life to pursue somebody else, that they weren't being honest with you about, that there was something else going on with somebody else. But it, you didn't know the full story. Um, and it, you just have this sense that this person is a trickster, or was not completely open and honest just not someone you could trust as far as you can throw them kind of thing and so you're going to be quite guarded when they come back towards you because you feel like you can't trust them entirely that seems to be the general energy that's going on for you Cappy before we go into the spread let me see if there's anything else I have a new deck that I've been working with offline I like to work with a new deck 
quite a lot before I bring it into a reading for anyone, just so I can feel really comfortable with the messages it's giving me, but I'm working with this one and it's very unique and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so let's see what it has to say for you. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn, please? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? Why the eight? <laughs> the Seven of Swords. So, um, I feel like this put, someone's going to be getting in touch, communicating with you, Capricorn. Um, they may have kind of snuck away out of your life and you may have even been questioning like where, where did they go and it could have been someone that ghosted you or just kind of went MIA, MIA like missing in action just suddenly oh I can't seem to get hold of this person or it's not so much ghosting as they just slow fade away kind of thing is what I'm getting and I don't think they were open and honest with you about where they were going, what they were doing, why they, that was happening. Um, so what's this Knight of Swords, please? Do they have something specific they want to say to my Capricorn now? What's this Knight of Swords? The Devil. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They want to, and this Seven of Pentacles in this deck is actually someone who's kind of uh, has a lot of remorse of where they put their time and um, effort and energy into already. So the fact that it's in reverse, it's almost like they, this person maybe wants to tell you that they um, were tied up in something. Um, could have been something to do with uh, there was money involved or someone may have been holding on to them for financial gain or something like that. And they have I feel like they've stopped I'm getting the sense of like a bottomless pit that they were giving um either money to or effort to and um they've realized that it wasn't paying off that it wasn't worthwhile and it was an unhealthy um situation that they were in something that they felt like they couldn't break free from and I feel like they've stopped investing in into whatever that was it was something that um, hmm. I feel like they've lost quite a bit from this situation as well and they are coming towards you in the hope that they can that can be like a golden new opportunity with you Capricorn and you can kind of um, hmm. how can I put this you can kind of make a bad situation good because they can have um, a new opportunity with you after basically betting on the wrong horse for quite a long time and let me see why is the queen of wands behind the moon here why the queen of wands with the moon why the queen of wands with the moon for capricorn <laughs> nine of cups three of cups at the bottom of the deck um so could be someone who kind of also hid how much they were attracted to you Capricorn or um, they may the Queen of Wands is a lot about attraction sexual attraction if I'm allowed to say that in this Puritan uh, YouTube world we're in now um, and this moon card kind of talks about fantasies dreaming so it's a bit of like a sexual fantasy going on here um, thank you So interesting, the Hermit's fallen out, but the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. So it seems like someone has been doing a lot of thinking <laughs> and probably a lot of fantasizing about you, Capricorn. And they may feel like they have reached some sort of realization from having some time away from you, like kind of time away has given them clarity in this connection. And also maybe because they can't stop thinking about you and I can't stop fantasizing about you that this has given them some clarity of like, well, I need to go back and speak to Capricorn. Um, that if you're the only one that they're thinking about being with or being with again, um, it's kind of given them some clarity. And I, but I think they did sneak away uh, previously. It, they may have also previously snuck away to um, pursue 
an attraction with someone else to be completely honest but it just turned out to be really they really bet on the wrong horse there um so tell me about this nine of wands just to i think i know what this is but let's just clarify or confirm why is the nine of wands here page of pentacles uh, a prince of pentacles so yeah it's essentially this message is coming in and if you look at the body language of, of this guy on the card he's got his arms crossed he's kind of looking at it like really I, like i'm doing right now like really like suspicious um interested curious but also i feel like you're in a position of um you've grounded yourself classic capricorn and very stable you're in a good place um job wise security financially you feel comfortable so you you're curious of what this person has to say but at the same time you're you want to kind of protect what the stability that you have attained. I just want to delve a little bit deeper. Um, let me get this deck actually into what this devil, what's this devil this person wants to talk to you about, or they've seen a devil, something that they were investing in, which was an absolute bad shout. They've seen it from a different angle and that's why they want to come back towards you there is a, a strategic sneaky deaky sense i'm getting from this whole thing so far um just with the seven of swords i've seen twice the moon here <coughs> excuse me um it just seems a little bit of and, and i can tell why you're curious but with your arms crossed like uh not going to be completely open to this because it just feels like this person maybe doesn't let you in on their thought process is kind of what I'm getting and leaves you wondering what's going on, where did they go, what's what was really happening um, because they're not, oh, oh see that's the other thing about this, the things are going to start falling on the floor and I'm all wired up. Um, okay, one second. Okay, sorry about that guys. So it was the Knight of Pentacles that fell on the floor. Interesting, and then look at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles, which is literally what I was clarifying in reverse. So it's taken this person a very long time to realize that whatever it was they were, they previously thought was like um, a really good thing to invest in for the long term, uh, they realized that it was something that was actually holding them back and that they were maybe even holding on to, like someone holding on to um, a nest egg that they are convinced is gonna, or, or like, um, I'm almost getting like something that they thought would appreciate in value over time. Like if someone had hoarded things from when they were a child thinking that, oh, like it's in mint condition and, um, you know, when I'm older, I'll be able to sell this and make a great profit from it. But it was, they were holding on to that, but now, now they're thinking about it from a different perspective and, and actually it's, it hasn't been worth it. That's kind of what I'm getting. Uh, can you tell me why? Why is this person seeing this as a unhealthy attachment? Why the devil? Ace of Wands has come out. This, whatever this was, could have been stopping them from having some sort of new beginning in their life that they wanted, they were very um, passionate about. It could be with you, Capricorn. This could have been stopping them from having some sort of new beginning with you. But I, it doesn't necessarily have to be another romantic party. It, I get it more that it's something like they were waiting for a payout um, or something that, hold on. Ace of Swords has come out on top of the Ace of Wands, um, as I was saying that, two aces and the devil at the bottom of the deck and the, the, the devil, I'm so sorry, the emperor. Oh, this is gonna be a rough, rough first video. I'm so sorry, guys. But the emperor, but it's interesting because in this deck, the emperor has like the Aries ram horns. And um, if you look at the, obviously the devil in, let me just hide any nudity there. The devil in that deck also has very similar horns on them. So 
Uh, it, this could have been something where the family were involved or this was something to do with a father figure or even grandfather figure in this person's life. But it was because I do get this sense of like appreciating something that they were waiting to get the benefit from. Um, and But it was holding them back. I hope that makes sense. So this could have been something to do about an inheritance um, that they were waiting and waiting for the payout. Okay, interesting. Oh, my dog is also now on the, the on the YouTubes for the first time. If you, You've probably been able to hear him previously if you've been here before because he sounds like he's wearing tap dancing shoes when he walks around. Anyway, thank you so much for your patience for me with this first video, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, so that's your starting messages. Let's go into a spread and I'll dig a bit deeper. So in the spread, I'm going to be asking specific questions about you and the person you have on your mind whilst you're watching this video. Bear in mind that this might make more sense uh, in a couple of weeks if this hasn't actually come to pass yet, um, if this person hasn't returned yet. Um, also bear in mind this is just uh, reading the energy that is out there as I make this video. Um, everyone has free will, so as much as uh, the energy right now is that someone is making a return your way, that doesn't mean they necessarily will if they suddenly decide at the last minute to use their free will against the energy. But we'll see what comes up. I hope that all makes sense. I get the top five cards for Capricorn, please. Top five cards for Capricorn. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting. <laughs> Wow, we have got repeats from the starting messages already, and this is a completely a fresh deck I'm using for this one. So um, how you're feeling about them, Capricorn, we have the Knight of Cups, but this Knight and this deck is standing completely still and basically letting the water or the emotion just kind of rise up, the sea just like rise up and consume him. Uh, it's a Knight who feels like they can't actually express their their feelings, they can't offer their love. So um, oftentimes this is like unexpressed um, love for me and when this card comes out. So you feel like you do care about this person, you do have love for them uh, or feelings for them and you do care about them, let's just say, but you feel like either this is not reciprocated, so there's no point in you expressing it, you're just gonna have to let those feelings wash over you and process them as best you can, or that there hasn't been the opportunity for you to express them. Um, now, how they're feeling about you, we have the Hermit card, so Virgo energy. They feel, they feel like they need um, time to themselves to cut themselves off and to find some sort of answers um, on their own. They, this is something like a road that they have to walk alone. And I say that because the next card is their, what is their current situation? And we have the Eight of Cups. So I kind of feel like it's interesting that I, I did that spiel uh, before I laid the spread down, which I don't normally do. Um, what I was saying about this is just the energy. Now in the starting messages, it would seem to suggest that this person is gonna be turning this Eight of Cups into a reverse Eight of Cups and coming back around. But right now in the energy, this person has distanced themselves from you. They've taken some time. They feel like they need time to themselves. They feel like they need to also leave emotion behind them is kind of what I'm getting like be very detached from feelings like not let feelings play a part in their thought process for some reason this could be an air sign you're dealing with no shades to air signs I've just dealt with enough of you <laughs> no, I'm playing anyway the action that they're most likely going to take towards you next Capricorn is the four of cups which it does seem, I mean, no wonder you feel like this, uh, your feelings are either unreciprocated or that you can't express them because this person, their action is to kind of give you the, make you feel like they're completely disinterested, they're not aware of you even, like that you don't even exist is kind of in a very harsh 
way, um, they're acting as if you, they're going to be acting as if you mean very little to them and they can, t because also I just get the sense of like a logical, pragmatic, like I will be leaving my feelings in the, the past for now, for now, but this is what I have to do. But that does, in terms of an action, make you feel like this person has better things to do, better things to give their attention to. And what's going to be happening between the two of you going forward, and here I normally say the next 30 days, next month from when you come across this video, have the Four of Pentacles. So there's a lot of um, holding back, a lot of not wanting to be vulnerable with uh, with each other, and also protect feeling pr like you need to protect yourself, and maybe even find a sense of security i mean we saw the four of pentacles already when i said that if this person reaches out you're going to be in that kind of defensive mode with the four of pentacles of uh, focusing on your security or stability which you don't want to upset so again we have it here in the in what's going to be happening so if it could as we clarify we'll see what action else action this person's going to take other than looking in the other direction but it seems like what well, if they are if there's any sort of like, oh, one minute I'm ignoring you, the next minute I'm reaching out to you from them, you're going to be very defensive and um, feel like you need to be around those that love you and to kind of build you up um, because you you don't trust this person's intentions towards you. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, the devil is back again. More it's like only a few cards I've got out so far and the repeats. So we do. It is Capricorn energy. We've seen it twice here, um, but it just seems like, oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> Underneath that is, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Sun, the Moon, and the Star. So um, when, <laughs> that's quite strong. And also when the Sun, Moon, and the Stars come out for me, like together, which is obviously a rare combination, it does talk to me about the astrology could be quite um, significant for you at this time. So, and I know we do have a full moon in Capricorn coming up on the 3rd of July, so that could be quite a significant date for some of you. Um, but it, what I was gonna say before that is that it seems like this person it, that you're dealing with is pulled in several different directions. With the Six of Pentacles card, you literally see someone sort of handing out a little bit of themselves to five other um, bugs. I think they are on this card, but it's kind of um, one person, one bug giving to five other bugs. So it is, um, and they're giving, they're giving, trying to give an equal amount of attention to each, but it seems like, it seems like they are uh, transfixed or kind of um, being, motivated by something or someone to keep giving to something and giving a lot of themselves i really see like someone spreading themselves quite thin but it's at the kind of encouragement of someone who has a lot of power over them again this could be a family dynamic but I, if that's the case it's kind of like that they are encouraging this person because they are promise promising them <clears throat> future success and <clears throat> the admiration of others. I think this person also uh, likes to give and to spread themselves thin because they like a lot of people looking up to them and admiring them. But that does mean that it doesn't, it can leave some people feeling like they're being treated like the Four of Cups, like uh, being ignored and overlooked because this person is, um, it's like the validation of um, being everyone's hero. Uh, that's kind of what I'm getting. All right, let me clarify this for you, Capricorn. Please clarify it with the top five cards. <clears throat> Please clarify with the top five cards from this deck. Seven of Swords flipped around inside the deck. That's the third time we've seen it from three different decks. There's a lot of sneaky deaky behavior here. And also I feel like this person's kind of gone into hiding. It might be trying to avoid 
avoid their feelings. I mean, that Seven of Swords could just be trying to get away with avoiding their feelings for as long as possible and thinking they can outsmart their own feelings kind of thing. Uh, but let's see. Please clarify with the top five cards. Okay. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so what came out to clarify your feelings for them, Capricorn, on top of the Knight of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands. So from your feelings, you're feeling um, quite passionate about this and also that you want things to move forward. You want to have um, that kind of breakthrough conversation that changes things, that moves things forward in the dynamic, that you there's a lot that you feel like you want to say to them. There's probably a lot of emotions that you want to express to them, but you want to have that kind of... Um, you may feel like this has um, kind of gone on long enough and you just need it may be even a sense of closure but just to for things to spice up basically is also what I'm getting um, for there to be a, a dynamic energy that comes into the connection um, how are they feeling about you we already had the hermit and it's clarified by the knight of pentacles so they are feeling um very slow <laughs> in comparison to you which is you know just say the word and let me and i will tell you how much i love you kind of thing just just waiting on the word waiting on that conversation to begin that we can like have that fully out in the open they're feeling extremely as i said pragmatic practical um taking their time taking a very slow and steady approach um almost not moving at all and almost how can I put this? Like overthinking, even though I don't normally get that from the hermit, but I just get someone who feels like um, to take even the smallest step forward, they need to plan it and think about it for weeks or months. Um, very hesitant. It's almost like someone um, studying the situation until they feel like they are a master of it and that they then know to strike. Now their situation, uh, we already had the Eight of Cups and now was clarified by the Hanged Man. So their situation, as I said, I, 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 when the Eight of Cups came out, I said that this person's situation is that they have to leave their feelings in the past for now. And the Hanged Man, it is, um, it's literally as far as they're concerned, the situation is on hold in limbo. It has not had a deciding factor either way. And, um, but it is someone who needs, it's just again and again, but reiterating, they need time to themselves. They need um, a break. They need to rest potentially. They need to um, distance themselves from the world, from their feelings and, um, it's almost like this person has got overwhelmed and they've retreated because they need to feel um, calmer, like they're not being rushed and also just have a time out effectively. Now, this next bit's interesting. The action that they're most likely going to take towards you next, we had the Four of Cups and it's clarified by the Knight of Swords. Remember, that's the second card that fell out at the very start of this video from the first deck. And I said that I was getting this feeling that this person, one minute you might not hear from them, the next minute it's going to be communication out of the blue, and then the next minute they're going to be ignoring you again, um, because this Knight of Swords is, when he makes the decision, I say he because it's, it's a guy on the card, but he, she, whichever in real life, um, when he makes the decision to send a message, it's instantaneous. This um, And they might... They might think about what they want to say but then they just suddenly decide out of the blue to send that message whereas um it's like someone who can ignore a text message for three days and then just suddenly be like right i'm going to reply to that now rather than someone who will be consistent in how quickly they reply or you know they'll feel the need to get back to that person uh, in a regular kind of way this person just ignores the situation and then suddenly takes action ignores it takes action kind of thing 
um, it is inconsistent and it's no wonder that I feel like your approach is going to be defensive and protective over yourself. And what came out to clarify the Four of Pentacles is the Empress, which is interesting because that is, the Empress is a very loving, nurturing energy and it's very kind, very understanding. And, but uh, either, I, I said that some of you might, want to spend time with loved ones who are going to boost you up some of you might be spending time with your mom because the empress is the mother of the deck but obviously not all of you um but you could just be there's also a sense here that this person doesn't want to lose your nurturing kind affection and empress energy and so they met with that four of pentacles it's almost like it's almost like someone being like i'm just a I'm just a, a little bird. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Like, I'm just a little vulnerable little chicky. Please look after me. And um, almost appealing to your um, good nature of wanting to take them in and look after them. It's like a dual energy there of, like, both your... Tr trying to hold back and maybe think about yourself, but you're also just that empress energy and the desire to nurture the desire to look after those that you love is also kind of um well, it's stronger the empress is a very strong energy the four of pentacles is not strong at all um let me what deck have i not used i've used all of them okay let's use this one again so let me just clarify a little bit more because i think it's quite clear about actually let me let me dig a bit more how um why is this person feeling the hermit and the knight of pentacles towards capricorn why are they feeling the hermit and the knight of pentacles for capricorn seven of pentacles and the hanged man are you kidding me the hanged man for how they're feeling about you and their situation I mean and the seven of pentacles as I said pragmatic extremely like this is someone who feels from a place of logic like rather than trusting their emotions they have to think about something um from like if we go back to the beginning when I was talking about that seven of pentacles in reverse and um I said this is someone who went or disappeared or maybe went in another direction because they thought long term this is going to be net net the best result kind of like someone who thinks about things like what's going to bring me the best um what am I going to get the best return on my investment and now I do see their feelings are they reflecting on how much you're worth Capricorn but it's from a very unemotional place. It's from a very like, they are, they are seeing things maybe differently. They're seeing their perspective on things is changing because the hangman is, is here twice. But um, as I said, this is someone very, very slow moving, almost not moving at all because they are looking at every which way of whether this is gonna, something will pay off for them. It's very um, emotionally disconnected. Uh, they only want to move forward when they know that they are going to have success. This is what I was saying about this kind of their approaches to try and master um, their decision. Like someone who is like um, an apprentice and wants to learn and, and be absolute the top of their craft before they create their first piece of pottery or work on their first like watch mechanism they want to learn about it for seven years beforehand and i don't know why i said seven years maybe that's significant for someone um okay tell me about the action that they're going to take towards capricorn please why this four of cups knight of swords combination why the four of cups and the knight of swords queen of wands why the queen of wands Queen of Wands with the Fool. 
the cards are literally just coming out from the beginning again. Um, oh, mate. For some of you, this person did head off in the direction of somebody else because the cards that have come out, we have um, we have the King of Swords. Can you see the Fool and the Queen of Wands? And the Fool is also in this deck talking about leaving the whatever, anything else behind, heading off, turning the back and walking away. And in this, the way it's come out, the Fool is walking directly to that Queen of Wands. But then we have the King of Swords here, looking at, pointing in the other direction. And I saw him at the beginning being very defensive, um, almost like I said what I said, I made the choice, I made the choice, I can do what I want, like defending their decision. So why, why do they, why are they communicating then? How did that go? How did that go with the Queen of Wands? Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands in reverse is how it went with the Queen of Wands. No wonder they are feeling defensive. I feel like this person, uh, oh Capricorn, and we have the Star in reverse as well. I feel like this, this person wants to communicate. Eight of Wands upright came out in the action they're going to take. So this person is, is, it seems that you're dealing with someone who disappeared from your life to head towards someone else in the direction of somebody else. They're very defensive over that because I don't think it panned out. This was not a situation of equal uh, give and take. It wasn't in it, the... They bet on the wrong horse and four of wands in reverse it turned out to not be something worth celebrating there was no um this wasn't a situation of long-term stability they thought it was going to be something that would pay off for them long term now when i said about they thought it was something they would appreciate over time they it may have headed towards somebody because they felt like they came from a wealthy family they had a lot of wealth themselves that this person could um benefit from in some way the star in reverse i feel like they also the star upright in this deck um which i won't show you unfortunately because it's a kind of half naked man um is someone who feels guided in a particular direction but they're guided from a sense of uh, spiritual intuition of um the signs destiny that kind of thing and i feel like the the fact that it's in reverse, this person um, ignored maybe even like a very special connection, ignored something like a destined connection uh, to head in a different direction based off of um, like an ego choice, a choice made out of kind of a superficial reasoning. And it didn't it did not pan out. It didn't pan out, and I feel like that was the the horse that they bet on. It wasn't was not a good investment. They want to communicate. Now I think I get why this four of cups came out with the knight of swords because it's like they do want to communicate, but they don't want to show you that they're bothered. Um, <laughs> it's basically someone with that pride and ego as well that. Um, they don't want you to know that they have been constantly thinking about you when they were giving their attention to other things. It, uh, and be careful with this one. I said sneaky deaky from the beginning. I'd be careful because it doesn't seem to be a very authentic approach. Tell me why is the Empress in what's going to be happening between Capricorn and this person? Why the Empress? The start upright now heading back towards a connection which was on their destined path in the first place ace of pentacles 
they want to turn a good situation bad Capricorn like the same cards are coming out throughout this reading and from different decks I said at the very start this person bet on the wrong horse it all went I don't know if I can say that on YouTube anymore it, it all went uh, up the wall and now they want to come back towards you and kind of back towards the path they were supposed to be on and hope that there's still the opportunity for a new beginning with you. But I feel like, mm-hmm. Death, judgment, and the page of wands. They want to transform the situation. The judgment card, there is a reckoning reckoning here. Something from your past coming back up into your, into your present for you to make a decision about. Um, and it is a message that will change the dynamic. And it is a message that brings something to the forefront to be decided on. Yeah, three of swords at the bottom of the deck. I didn't show you, I forgot to show you guys, sorry. This new format is throwing me a little bit. Three of swords is at the bottom of the first deck I used as well. Three of swords at the bottom of both. So, three of swords. Yeah, ace of wands, six of wands. Essentially, long and short of it, Capricorn, this person is pretty cut up and sorrowful and remorseful and they they want a new opportunity with you. But I think this is going to be the realisation after a bit more of a time out, to be perfectly honest, because I feel like this is going to be the progression after there's some distance between the two of you, there's some time apart. This is, seems to be a distance makes the heart grow fond of situation as well and distance gives this person some new perspective on how much you mean to them um because they do absolutely are in hermit mode right now um but it with this four of cups in the action it could also be that they through this time of reflection um an extremely pragmatic reflection at that they do come to realize that they have um, chosen something which was superficial and had no value and ignored the true empress for them however I just also get the fact that they are not going to want to be completely um, vulnerable with you when they come back to communicate with you again because they don't want to admit that they bet on the wrong horse um, let me use this deck let me just ask what is this person's intentions towards Capricorn or what will be their intentions going forward the next few weeks? What will be this person's intentions towards Capricorn? Oh, and please do like the video, guys. It would mean the world to me my first time showing my face on YouTube. Um, and I just really appreciate the support to the channel as well. So please do hit the like button for me. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, leave me a comment if you like the video. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, what are this person's intentions towards Capricorn? Eight of Wands. It's to, well, they're certainly intending to communicate with you. I just, as far as this person is concerned, the situation is not um, a done deal between the two of you. It does kind of give me the sense that they feel like they can kind of disappear out of your life and return whenever they want. That might not be for all of you. Ten of Wands, they're pretty, uh, you look, Ten of Wands with the Six of Pentacles before I shuffle it away at the bottom of the deck. There's the Ten of Wands. So this person has spread themselves too thin. They became overwhelmed. I mean, maybe this is also why they were like, they may have reached some sort of breaking point um, where they, and that's why they needed to get some time away. They needed some space, they needed some distance from everything. Um, and they are intending to kind of suddenly one day wake up and be like, right, I need to, I, now I need to speak to Capricorn. So it could just be saying that they, this could be the cards correcting me when I said that they feel like they can just walk away and then come back whenever they want. It may be that they just had to because they reached a point where they became overwhelmed, like they were going to have some sort of 
or they maybe they were having panic attacks or they were going to have some sort of breakdown if they didn't just um, disappear, maybe take some time in, um, go into nature or somewhere which is like pretty remote, cut off and just um, rebalance themselves. So what are their intentions towards Capricorn? Interesting. We have the uh, King of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. I can't show you the Ten of Cups in this deck, but I can show you the Four of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. And I want to show you that in particular because like five minutes ago, I said, how did it work out with the horse that they bet on? And it was these two cards from a different deck reversed. I said, how did it work out? Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles reversed. It didn't work out very well. Their intention for you Capricorn is to have that upright so basically a a balanced relationship a balanced um family dynamic I'm also getting uh, like a home life where two people respect each other give to each other are generous with each other in terms of their time their effort their affection and because of that a healthy happy home can flourish we also have the eight of pentacles this person is you could be dealing with another earth sign capricorn because this person is really i mean we've also got the king of swords here as well really someone logical <laughs> um resourceful um but also really thinking about the future and um this is going to be someone who saves i feel like saves up for a rainy day or saves up and God speeds them because I can't save to save my life. Um, but this person, Capricorn, is a really good saver, I feel like, or someone who um, puts money away or puts uh, invests in things that will later, you know, like someone who has their pension sorted, 100%. I have a Capricorn female friend who is, I think she's got her life... Um, completely sorted for like the next 30 years i'm like what am i doing tomorrow i don't know um and also the ten of cups which i can't show you so i'm just gonna oh i can show you like that ten of cups so their intention is happiness it does the, this ten of cups in this deck is a, a single person sat feeling very um con content satisfied that everything is it's like someone who can finally breathe who can relax because they have their life in order they feel comfortable they feel secure for the future and they feel like they are in a, a loving respectful situation but it is one person so i do have to say that this it's just that this person seems to act very much on what is sensible and logical for themselves and that's not necessarily a bad thing it just might leave you for example feeling confused and upset and rejected because but i think it's more just this this person is just more like i'm overwhelmed so i'm disappearing i want a happy and reciprocal loving situation so i'm going to think about what is the most logical step for me but it's not really thinking about some, your feelings so that's kind of what i've got for you capricorn i would say that they are going to be getting in touch they are going to be wanting to have another opportunity with you after they kind of overlooked you to head off towards somebody else, which has not worked out at all. <laughs> they bet on the wrong horse, if I haven't said that enough. Um, so I have these cards, which are also new. I haven't used them as much as the new tarot deck because they are my first foray into like an oracle kind of deck. And, um, well, I just don't need to use those <laughs> at home. <laughs> So from uh, offline so i'm going to get one for you though they are botanical themed flowers i thought earth rose tarot needed a flower based oracle card so i'm going to get a couple for you let's see what which ones you get what flowers for capricorn please for capricorn for this reading for this connection for what okay that's one The first one you have the lily uh, majesty and virtue the lily is the emblem rare of many virtues good and rare which is the worst quote because they they rhymed rare with rare but anyway it's the lily um but this 
funnily enough, <clears throat> from my small knowledge about flowers, the lily is also the flower of death, but death, we know in tarot, is transformation. So there's, I feel like someone is respecting your virtues and they're also thinking of you as someone majestic, but also that you, it's like you have authentic virtue. And what I mean by that is that you might have, um, a real like regal sense about you or someone who um is quite has quite like a good moral compass as well uh virtue is a bit is a bit tricky these days because we have lots of virtue signalers when they're not very virtuous people but i feel like you are the exception to that capricorn where you are actually quite virtuous and you do strive for what's right and even if that can sometimes be difficult i think you may have also this whole connection may have taken you through, through some difficult transformations, but it's been um, keeping your core values at the heart of it yourself the whole time, but you have gone through a transformation because of this connection. I hope that makes sense. The second card that you uh, have is the Sacred Lotus, which is actually my favourite quote of this whole deck. So it's the card of enlightenment. No mud, no lotus is the um, quote which I absolutely love and it's basically saying that you know you don't get the beautiful lotus flower without a lot of SHIT that it had to grow through first so um, there is whatever happens in this Capricorn in this situation you have transformed and you've learned a lot from this connection and you have become even more beautiful inside uh, from the inside out um through even if it's been some of it's been difficult or unpleasant um i also feel like because we did see the hermit with the ace of swords i showed you about this person's um situation we have a hermit in how they're feeling now i feel this is a path of discovery and reflection that this person is on which is going to take the whole connection in a more beautiful direction which you probably um, and not seeing right now because you're just desperate for some action but it's almost kind of saying that um, this time out this distance between the two of you could actually be one of the best things that happens for the connection so that's what I've got for you this time Capricorn I really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here thank you for bearing with me um, and I hope you enjoyed the new format let me know what you think I wish you all my best I'll speak to you soon bye